Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. Finally, it is here. Planet Zoo has had its full release. Very, very exciting day. We did obviously take a quick look at the beta when that was out, but the full release is now here. So starting from scratch, obviously, let's create our little avatar. I mean, he does look pretty pimping, doesn't he? Uh, I am the palest you can be. I do live indoors my entire life, pretty much. Can't really see the face because he's got glasses. Let's get rid of the glasses. Um... Probably that one with the sunken eyes of a dead man, yeah? <laughs> uh, hair. One of, one of those, one of those. Colour is about right. Beard, a full beard, but there isn't really a full beard option, isn't there? Oh, there is, this one. Oh, he's already got it. Fair enough, full beard it is. No glasses. Just a couple of shirts to choose from. Oh, hold up. <laughs> hold up a second. Yep, yeah. nope, I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. Let's pick some rather disgraceful colours. Ooh! Oh, that is nice. Look at that. That's how we roll. Definitely with a pair of shorts. Definitely with those shorts, specifically. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that one is... <laughs> it's bloody horrible, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. What about a hat? Do we want a hat? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Um, adult man, large. Yeah, why not? Perfect. All right, there is our dude. Nice. Okay, yeah, so it does actually have a resume option, which is nice, because I thought I was going to have to go through and continue from where we'd gone. But nope, looks like we're okay. So if I just, if I hit career, what happens? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it has done the Goodwin House. That's the one we already did in the beta. That's pretty awesome. I thought it was going to have to do that essentially off camera and come back to you and uh, take a bit more time. So it's nice we can just run on through. So we don't actually want to hit resume. That's a bit misleading. That is the Godwin, or the Goodwin House, I should say. That is the Goodwin House one. And we've already completed that. So we shall instead do the Abe Rentership. <laughs> the Madagascan Simeon Conservation Project. Uh, as with Planet Coaster, this is going to be a career mode playthrough. I would love to take a look at the franchise at some point, but for now we shall do the career mode, smash our way through that, and see if it takes us as long as Planet Coaster did. Planet Coaster took us a long old time, didn't it? So we'll see. Here we are then, in the name of the place I've already forgotten. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? Don't you dare, Bernie! <laughs> How weather, I dare you! Don't call these places heathen! For nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary, where we're doing vitally important conservation. Zoha! Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like... Well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bernie. Anyway, that's why you clown. That our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it. Which is reasonable. Lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> your wife sounds like she's horrible. That's what you're saying. Bit warm for my taste to be These staff are very well travelled, aren't they? Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. Of course you do. Yep. So he just said that. Look at some of them, eh? I would love to, Nancy. Taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over. Because of the rough, right? I was trying to. I couldn't for a second there. Could not figure out what she was saying then. Uh, you're gonna give me control at some point soon? Like now. Now you're gonna give me control? Yay, there we go. Um, so it is, well, I was gonna say, it's looking a little bit like the options could go up a little bit, but I'm just about hitting about 55 frames a second. So maybe we won't go and do too much extra in terms of the uh, settings then. That's in northeast Madagascar. Where is he? Anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. That Look at that beautiful little monkey. Let's go find our Borny and orangutans. Look at him go.
That's awesome. That's awesome. Right, please, let's go look at the orangutans. Mar no, that's a weird sort of dessert. Where are the orangutans? Over here. The bony orangutan. It's a little one. It's a little young one. They're always a big favourite at any zoo they feature in. And they're also the Hello? tree dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. <laughs> Nancy, you Let's idiot. Open up the information panel and go into the animal camera. Oh, I have been. Aren't they just incredible? They are. When you're ready, let's go and have a they, Oh, hello. Hold up. Hold up, big <laughs> boy. Characters. Oh, look at him. He is a beast. You would not mess with that, would you? Not for all the tea in China. Right, where are we going? I was not listening, Nancy. What are you babbling on about? That's a bit mean. Visiting player alerts. So these are other characters' avatars, is it? I'm here somewhere. Yay, look at me. I look disgusting. Did my hair just come off? Oh, it does. If it gets to the top of the camera, you can just see it flick off. Cool, right. I, I really wasn't listening. Uh, not the help. Not the zoopedia. Not the notification. Objectives. Uh, just locate the next highlighted area. Okay. What are we looking for here? What are we looking for here? It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. What's a chimpanzees? And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run What's a bonobo? It. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Uh, yes. Yes, no. What am I doing, Nancy? All right, say it again. I wasn't listening. It looks like <sighs> arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has... Oh, I got it. There we go. And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But Box all animals. That's what she said. The bonobos to stop them escaping. I see. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Yep. I'm with you. I've done that. We'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in oh. the wild. Not selfish. So we'll need to hire a replacement, sharpish. Uh, okay. And then into the staff management area. You can find all of your staff in here. Do you not get like the pick between them? Do you just get random ones? I thought they had different. Do they not? Or am I making that up? One of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Obviously not. Let's put him here where it was broken. Deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. Animal alerts. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Oh, it's miles away. It's better to call the vet over to capture it. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a relief. <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. I mean, I should, but I also want to see what the vet does. Is there a... Yeah. I'm going to keep eyes on him in case the vet appears. I'm saying him. I can't actually see what it is. Okay. Oh, yes, I can. Man. He doesn't care. He's just hanging around the people. Having a laugh. Ooh. Oh, he just boxes him up. Easy as that. Okay. Right then, where's the habitat? As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. It's so not collapsed, it's just disappeared. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. And you just hit delete? Yep. And then just... Why doesn't it want to connect it? Oh, there it does. Good. There it does. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. That way the oh, I see, yes. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. 
Okay. Okay, so go into the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. That's not what I want. That adds another one. Where's the options section? Oh, there we go. Tells me down there. Climb proof. Yes. Nope. Nice yes. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? Oh, I guess so. Right, so get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Select the habitat barrier to bring out the habitat information. Package. I'm way ahead of you, Nancy. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones Aww. so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking... Well, someone else here now. <gasps> Unnamed, mysterious person. Them, the barriers will crack, crumble and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Yeah. And I are a couple of mechanics. Hire a mechanic and then click on a path to... Oh, just the one? The zoo. Okay. And then click on the path again oh, right. to hire a second mechanic. Nancy. You don't have to go back into staff management if you're hiding lots of... Da ding Bronze completed. <laughs> Bare essentials. Nice. Oh, yes. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Of course he does. Bernie. Bernie? Thank you, Bernie. You, you had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. I More did. Importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. Does that happen very often, Bernie? You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, mm -hmm. additional information for our education results. That sounds great. Enhanced breeding programs and improvements to food. This is a really fancy little uh, zoo, isn't it? Animals food, not the vets. Built entirely on stilts. To improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. What's a hippo? In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research centre. <laughs> And once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. I bet you have. Here? There's already something there. Now, you've probably noticed that there's I already a I literally just did, yes. Build ...the research centre. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. Okay. If you select the research facilities placement and then hover over the shell, staff facilities it asks if you want to add the research, research. to the existing building. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. There we go. There's, is that the front? That's the front, right? Doesn't want to go in there, Nancy. I don't get... I don't get what's happening here. Oh, that worked. It's kind of in there. That'll do. And then... Yeah. It's connected to a path, is it not? I guess not. Okay. Can we make a very tiny path? Right. Splendid. That'll work. do. Now that we have a brand spanking new research centre, we can give our vets something to do in there. It's kind of sticking out the building a bit. It's Could definitely have placed that the better. We'll only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just Nah, now. let's not. So, let's get our vet... Bloody peeing down, Nancy. Lemurs. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. Zoo. Vet research. You can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo. I can. And also all the potential diseases that can occur. I can. Drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Oh. Oh, this one. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not 
sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Okay. Let's head over there on Adsa so our guests can learn all about their furry little delights. Oh, let's do that, Nancy. What are we doing? Ring-tailed lemurs. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. Ooh, that sounds useful. What are we looking for? Education board. Uh, a line to surface. There's one. Where are we going to put the other one? I can't. Oh, there's another stand. We have to tell them what animal to display information about. Makes sense. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. And from the drop down list, select ring tailed lemur. Yep. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. Mm -hmm. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't That get would be confusing. Okay. Now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair oh. of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals, instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is mm -hmm. that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. I'm going to put them on the stands. Now that makes sense. to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs. Just like you did with the education boards. There's one. There's two. Fantastic. Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. Mm hmm They won't do much good without it. Do we know if they're powered? Oh, it looks as though our vet has completed we don't. research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research. What's going on here, Nat? Do I click this? Oh, I do. Collect your research rewards. We've discovered three items over one species. Research an animal, even after successfully completing a research level. So what did we... I suppose when you're in... Oh, we did this. Or was that what he's researching? Oh, I see. That. He, he did that. That's what we just researched. Well, now he's researching that. The lives of our guests, nice. Enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Go on then. Like lemurs will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing. Where is one? And you can fulfill that requirement Aww. by building them a Look at his fuzzy little face. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Next, oh, lots more climbing. Rain tab. Ah, now, as you can see, the mm. lemurs need quite a lot more climbing. They do. They do have a piano, though. I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. I'll just go with the blueprint. Thanks, Nancy. It's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat. So well, that's a good level with the people, I thought. Certainly do keep us on our toes. It is uh, hovering a little bit, though. That's more than enough climbable area, though. Climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. I hope so. You know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. Another one? Oh. That's true of all of us, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is, Nancy. We unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs. So Ooh. What remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring Where do we do that? Oh. Oh, okay. Just crashed. Interesting. Okay, so we've caught up with where we were. As you can see, I've had to put down two climbing frames. It's because I put the first one in and I sunk it so it actually uh, wasn't floating in the air. Which I thought would be great, but then it only did about 38 metres of climbable space, so I had to put another one down as well. Something to do with their food, yes, that's what we were doing. But we're not worrying about that. Yep. Okie dokie. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. I'm, uh, I'm trying.
Lovely. There we go. I see. Animals, animals set food quality, grade As two. See, we can set the food quality in here. Lovely. Just click on the drop down menu and select. Oh, stopped raining. Food Fantastic. Grade two food How close are we? Ooh, getting there. It's already watering. Release Agung to the wild. Oh, a new climbing Two new climbing frames, Nancy. Oh, you've really spoiled those lemurs, right? I have. That's a very low uh, entrance point, isn't it? One of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Release Go on. Animals into the <gasps> oh, I do like that. See, oh, I, I don't know why I didn't figure that was coming. Release them into the wild. <laughs> Idiot. What makes an animal a good candidate for release? I don't know. Their age is an important factor. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile. Just no, that'd be crazy. It's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, uh -huh. the idea is to repopulate the wild. So the best... So how do you know... High fertility gene. How do you know any of this? Together, the age and fertility of a Stunt book. Determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now... Conservation credits are vitally important. Oh, there we go. Lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. That's 2,500 appeal. Oh, the animals you can adopt. Oh, that's a good rating. Quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. Okay. Okay. I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. Is there an easy way of doing that? Orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals ah, there we go. habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. And is there something I can click to select him straight away? No. Here's Ageng. Let's take a quick look at his genetics. So he's actually a bit low on size. Longevity is good, fertility is fantastic, immunity is good. He has a very high rating again. So, is that what I wanted to do? Nope, don't think so. Sorry, Agung. Uh, ah, that one. Close. Cannot undo this action. He is all good. Let's release him. I know, it's sad to see him go. It is very sad to see him go. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you know. I was trying to think of jokes to make there, but I'm glad I didn't. Glad I didn't. Okay, on to gold. Locate the highlighted area. I see you've been doing some homework. It's not there yet. Oh, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. It's very true. Very true, Bernie. I like your cup. If there been less algebra and more algebra. Tortoises. I, yeah, I was wondering what you're going with then. <laughs> I had no idea what an aldebra was. Sure, we will soon, though. To learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. I've Please. An area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Right in here. We're small. Okay. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it. Are these like the uh, invertebrates and everything? And pop it into the gap. Perfect. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. Yep. How about a Gila monster? Open up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. Exhibit trading? I wouldn't have gone to there. I would have thought I'd been in zoo somewhere. I suppose that's what you've already got though, isn't it? Yes, okay. And it's just... Yeah, okay. Fair enough. What do I know? Uh, this animal has been adopted for cash. It cannot be released into the wild. That seems mean. Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the Gila monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. Oh, there it is. That doesn't mean it's completely ready for Hey, them. buddy. So let's finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Severe welfare. To bring up its information panel. Do we just... Now click on the layout tab. Oh. As I'm sure oh, I see. You know by now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Now we'll also need to set people love it. Look, humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our Gila monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Yep. Here you can see the Gila monster's desired temperature and humidity. 
You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. And then what do we need here? A lot less humidity. A lot less humidity. He is way too moist right now. Looks like it's probably going to be less than that, doesn't it? Let's put it down to 10. Temperature could probably go up a little bit more. I'd like it in the middle of that green, really. 40 degrees centigrade. 10's too low. I made a mistake. That's the ticket. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. Okay. You can edit and customize any of the windows on an exhibit. A Why would I? Be closed and blank or have a two-dimensional background or even a three-dimensional background. Oh, fancy. Play around with the options. We definitely don't want that, do we? There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibits to teach your guests about them. Oh, What's fancy. Okay. Educational board. Uh How does it know it's an exhibit one? Because they got rid of the uh, other stuff, I guess. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure I wanted to do that. I don't know which way it's supposed to be. I suspect that way, right? Did that just... It's no good for anyone. Like the education boards and speakers we put down for the ring-tailed lemurs, you'll need to link these to the Gila monster. Go on. There we go. That's a bit better. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right now, I've got a bit of a big job for you. Go on then. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I'm concerned by this. What did she say? I wasn't listening. Have at least 12 species in the zoo. What are we up to? How do you know how many species you've got? That must be an easy way of seeing that, right? You'd have thought so. Overview? Nine species. So where do we just build more species? Uh, don't really know. Don't really know what I'm doing. What have we got? What have I got? So there's like an area down here which is ripe for uh, something, isn't it? So shall we... What, what can we actually get, I suppose? All sorts of things. So we could make like two exhibits here. Couldn't be one on either side. So we decide what we're going to decide what we're going to get first. Uh, I do like a tape here. They're not going to need particularly stringent... Have, uh, barriers are they what I could do with first I suppose is getting the paths down though so let's go for I'm trying to see what path that is it's been wood everywhere else isn't it so we do wood and I'm just coming straight down the middle here like this so it's actually we're going to go want to go around the outside as well aren't we Give people the best view that we can. I need to do something similar here. So let's join those two up. And then we'll make a little pass. Do we want to go around the bottom there? Probably not. So we'll do that. They're okay. That one's a little thin, but that's fine. And then we want 
some sort of barrier. Probably the wood, yeah? Because that's nice. So we'll make a barrier all around here. We'll put some glass in when we are done. So you could smooth this out so it's a little bit nicer, couldn't you? But for now, it shall be fine. And we'll do the same over here. Why can't we go that way? That's obstructed wherever it goes for some reason. Hmm, okay. Let's make this a bit shorter. I can't make it a bit shorter. I would love to make you a bit shorter, but I can't. Okay, let's just delete it. Obviously, if you wanted to be a bit more careful, you could also make them a bit shorter as well, so they actually fit where you needed them to be. Now, the tapirs aren't going to need anything higher than this. I don't know what's going to go in the second enclosure, though. Might need to raise the height a little bit. Okay, so we need a couple of habitat gates. Which I want quite near the beginning, so the staff don't have to walk too far. We want some glass. One-way glass? I would like one-way glass, actually, now that I've mentioned it. So let's put some... We don't want to do it the side where the... Uh, Lovely. I assume it automatically No. How do you say which way the one way is? There we go. Wonderful. And we'll get some more of that over here as well. And change the side again because it's wrong. Lovely. We should probably get another bit in as well, shouldn't we? Should we leave that for now? Well, in fact, no, what we should do... Let's have some one-way glass in here. And in here. So as the guests walk down the middle there, look at that. Perfect. I'm assuming money isn't much of an option at the moment. I guess you'd need to be a lot more careful if you were actually trying to do this for reals. Okay then, so... Now what? Now you want some animals. I would like some tapirs, please. I will... How much of this stuff to have? 3,000. How many do we need? Should we get... A couple of males... And then four females. I have no idea what the tapir ratio should be. But that's what we've got. Oh, the vet research is complete. Lovely. I'll take that as well. Thank you very much. Uh, and then where do we find our animals? It's here somewhere. Was there, is there a... Animal storage, that's what I want. Uh, select all. Move. To here. Wonderful. That's one more species. What else do we have? And we'll deal with their enrichment in a moment as well when they get there. We know what it is they need. What's on the market, please? We've got hippos. I should actually check, I suppose. Yeah, those are the only tapirs we've got. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, what else can we get? Notice if there is a filter which said, like, no species you currently have. We've definitely got hippos. Mandrills. Do we have mandrills?
We do. Okay. Mandrills are out. What else have we got? Lots of mandrills. We've got the lemurs. Got those lemurs. A uh, western chimpanzee. Only three of them. I feel like they'd need more than that. We don't have any, though, so do you know what? I've built the exhibit, so I will take some western chimpanzees, please. Now, they're all males as well, so they're probably not going to be the happiest in the world. But it'll do for now. No, oh, I needed that. Animal trading, market. Why are you taking so long? Move all of those to here. Here are our tapirs. We should probably at least make sure they have food and the such like, shouldn't we? Uh, habitat. Food and water. Large food bowl. A large food bowl in here. I don't know whether they need food bowls or food trays or, or what they need. I've got no idea. I might give them a large one of these as well. Each. Boom and boom. Uh, a water station. Let's give them a water pipe. There we go. Now they're clearly going to be a little bit miserable. But that's not... I mean, it's good enough. Uh, the enrichment I want to do something with. Species food and toy enrichment. Oh, there is actually a way... Ah, that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. Where's the tape here? Oh, Baird's tape here. Okay. Baird's tape here. Oh, that's fine then. That works. And we didn't give them one of these, so we'll have to give them one of these. Give them the wrong one. We'll work on the rest of it in a bit. Uh, should we give them a basic shelter? It's not very big, is it? Let's give them a nice basic shelter so they can hide away from the world if they want. Uh, enrichment items. Give them some food enrichment. Fruit spike tree. They're going to have a couple of them. A rubbing pillar. That'll do, right? We've got to be a bit, health a bit happier now, I would have thought. A little bit. Not entirely, but enough. Right, these, I imagine, are going to be pretty miserable. So what are these? Western chimpanzees. So let's start off with the food and water. Uh, notice we got the wrong thing here. Let's give them that. Uh, the water's fine, though. Beds and shelters... Give them that. And then enrichment items. Oh, they have lots of enrichment items. Let's give them the lemur climbing frame, because they'll enjoy that. I'll give them this little climbing frame here as well. They can have a ball. Oh, hello, sprinkler. And a block of frozen fruit. There we go. So they're happy enough. It's not great, but it will do. So that should put us up to 11 species, actually, shouldn't it? Eleven species. So what we could do with... Why am I moving so slow? I don't know. Oh, holding down shift, you go faster. I feel like I've done something. Okay, we'll hold down shift. I think I might put an exhibit down here, then. So we need to build a habitat. Is it a habitat? No, facility. Small animal exhibits, exhibit. What's that obstructed by? Oh, I've moved it now. 
I'd like to put it there, but that's not going to happen. Oh, we can do that. Interesting. I'd like it. Oh, can I do... <gasps> that's class. That's class. Exhibit trading, please. Uh, oh, do we have a giant bow ring? We have some form of cockroach, don't we? I'm hoping we do not have... We do have a giant boring burrowing cockroach so how do we get more animals if there are no animals left to us I am confused there I'm gonna uh, have I not got enough Oh, I don't have enough. Well, there's going to be one female monkey then. Let's bring the female monkey in. Um, I'm a little confused here. You have at least 12 species in the zoo. I already need to look at the options, so I'll figure out why that isn't rotating very fast. That's frustrating to me. What's in here? Why is she boxed up? Don't know. Free now, though. Okay. Well, that frame's hovering a little bit, isn't it? Mildly frustrating, but we'll be fine. Um, yeah, I don't know how we'd get another species. Oh, now there's loads here. Okay, that's better. What have we got? So we've got a cockroach. Do we have a giant tiger land snail or a goliath frog? I kind of like the idea of a goliath frog, actually. Let's have a quick look. We do not have a goliath frog. I would like a goliath frog, please. My, my, you have been busy, haven't you? I have. Splendid. But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Go on, get to it. Turn the temperature down a little bit. It doesn't have any power. How do we get power to things? It hasn't dealt with power. I've got no idea what I'm doing. I've got genuinely no idea what I'm doing. Uh, it doesn't have power, does it? Does it have to be... Can I just put it like down here? Does that work? This is a very particular temperature requirement. There we go. And we don't have the Thing there. Windows, though. I do want to look at this. Which one is... Oh, I need to find out why my thing is going so slow. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Right then. So what do we have to do? What did she say? We need to get our average happiness up to 90%. 90%. Okay, let's start with the tape here then. So we need more enrichment. We can do that easy enough, can't we? Habitat, enrichment items. Uh, for the... What's it? The Baird's tape here. Uh, so have they got a box? Oh, why is the box over there? Give them a couple of boxes. Ah, oh, they're now fine for that. I do need to figure out why I'm moving so slow. Let's have a look at the settings very quickly. Okay, so I had to quit the game and come back into it. Uh, I started mashing keys to try and figure out that I had some sort of weird Windows 10 whiteboard thing come up, so I couldn't use the W key anymore, and it just got silly. So anyway, 
Uh, social, too many adults in this animal social group. Too many adults. How many animal adults do they like? Um, let's release this one into the wild. Goodbye. So that's uh, helped out a little bit. Let's release this one into the wild. Goodbye. Still too many adults. So it just they just like to be a pair then, do they? So that's a male, a male, and a female. So some of them I won't be able to release into the wild. This one I can. Too many, oh, there's another one. So it should be a male and a female over here. Yep. Let's get rid of you. Bye. Okay, social group is now fine. Sorted that right out. Uh, plants, though, is very poor. What kind of plants do we like here? South Central American tropical temperate grassland. Um, I can just filter it by species again, though. Can I not? Nope. That's annoying. Um, what did I say? Tropical grassland temperature. Temperate. And South Central America. All right, then. Water lilies? That's probably not much good. Let's pop... <laughs> Let's pop some uh, random little plants down. I have no idea how far I'm supposed to be going with this. Oh, there we go. It does say up there. Look. What have we got? That's almost cheating, putting them across the uh, fence like that. But I like it. Plus it disguises it for the animals, doesn't it? I'm not going to be very neat with this. Just going to get it down just as quick as we can, really. What else have we got? A few of these. Or oh, some different types of vines. Can't see what that's like at all. Where's that going? I think it's sticking outside of the... Uh... Oh, my word. Hello. Boff. <laughs> That'll do it. So they are now pretty damn happy. Oh, no. Hard shelter. Insufficient shelter space to cover all animals. How is that true? How do they not fit in there together? And we need to get it up to 90%, right? Overall welfare to 90%. But I mean, none of this is really... Only enrichment's any good. Okay, well, let's try this again. Uh, habitat... Oh, is it because the shelter isn't suitable? No, this shelter should be suitable. What if I build you one of these? Will you like me then if I build you one of these? Yep, perfect. So still, only that is 90%. The rest of it is not. The temperature is close, but it's not perfect. How do we get... How do we sort our temperature again? You'd have thought it'd be an environment, but nope. Oh, there is zero water. That's not enough. That is not enough. They would like more water. Where's water? Facilities? Construction? No. Food and water, water, but we don't want, we want to build like a little lake, don't we? Ah, terrain, that's what it is, that's what I'm looking for. What I could do with is drop in something over here down a little bit, how do we do that? Sculpt in, push, let's push this here down. And we'll make a little lake here for them.
That looks fine. And then water, calm. Why aren't you, why aren't you watering? I can do that much water. I need more water. <laughs> That's not enough water. Is it because I put the water in there now? Has it broken this a little bit? I would like more. I would like more, but is that... I don't suppose that's sorted you out, really, has it? Oh, no, now you're very unhappy. Cleanliness. So I can't help cleanliness. That's up to the... Uh, up to the dude. So where did I just see the water thing? Don't really know. Oh, it's here. But they're not complaining about it, so maybe it'll be fine. So even though the lowest thing in the habitat is 67, they're still saying it's 57%. Okay, well, I don't think there's much else I can do with those guys. So let's go and have a look at the Western chimpanzees. Social, terrible. Insufficient size. There is not much I can do about that. How do I change? I can't. I can't. This might this might be terrible. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about that at all. How do I provide them more space? The social group's fine, so I don't want to take another one out. Did I, in fact... No, I did. So there should be five in here. Oh, I can see four. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I don't know where the fifth one is, but that, that's fine. Or should it be... F I don't know. Either way. Either way. Should be more space, but we can't really do anything about it. Unless... We can extend it down here, perhaps? Plants are terrible. We can certainly deal with plants. Uh, African biome... Get rid of this, and that's tropical. Tropical. So let's leave tropical, get rid of that, and add in Africa. Okay, any just huge things? What's the hugest thing? Some of these. Oh, that did nothing to help the plants, apparently. Oh, there we go. That one did. There we go. So they're happy with all of that. Enrichment wise, they need some more toys. We can deal with that. Oh, let's get rid of that. And species, Western chimpanzee. What didn't we give them? Don't think we gave them a small fixed roller, did we? Where's the other windows? Um, still, oh, that was, was that food? I think I gave them food, didn't I? I absolutely did. Absolutely did. Uh, so does this class as, in, as a toy enrichment? No. No, it does not. Right, so that is their... In fact, all of the stuff is now very good. They are now fine. For some reason, they are now perfect. Right, how close are we? We're pretty close. We're pretty close. Um, oh. The tapirs. Cleanliness. How do I force a clean? How would I force a clean? I'd be on the actual habitat, wouldn't it? Oop. On the habitat. Call the keeper. 
maintenance. In fact, can I just hire more keepers? I have plenty of money, don't I? So if I go to zoo staff, do caretakers do it? I don't know. Let's hire a couple of caretakers. And then a couple of keepers. I should sort that out a little bit. Okay. This dude... What's that say? Exhibit layout is partially providing enrichment. So we'd like more enrichment. We don't have it... Um, yeah, we don't have it researched. So what I could do there is put the research... Oh, research complete. Thank you. On to... Where's this... Uh, where is he? Where's Frog Dude? There he is. Put that on there. Once that's researched, we can do that, which will make him a little happier. So if we look at our animals then... Where's there? Is there not just like a... There we go. How are you severely dehydrated when there is a massive lake there? Let's give them species uh, Borneo orangutan. Let's give them a water pipe. So let's give them a couple of water pipes. Hopefully that'll stop them being so dehydrated. Well, this one is not very happy. You're not very happy at all. You have not had been fed. You are, you are hungry. How do I call the keeper? There we go. Why can't I click it? I think you're on your way, are you? I think you're on your way, okay. So if we look back at the zoo and the animals... So he's very miserable. The bonobos are, in general, not all that great. So that could be a nice easy win for us. What have we got here? Oh, that just changed immediately. Oh, that's the Gila monster still. That's why he just got fed. Oh, your enrichment is terrible. You have no enrichment at all, bonobos. We can sort that out. Let's change this over to bonobos. And then you want some enrichment. There we go. So let's give you some food enrichment. Let's give you one of these big old things. Let's get rid of that. It keeps going over to this, this screen, and I'd rather it stayed on the other one. Give you some termites. Because now I can't see how we're actually doing here. We just do one of each thing. Has been in box too long. Yeah, I think I keep accidentally boxing stuff up. Oh no, that was the one that was that was um, taken there. That was the female. I don't know why she was still boxed up. Uh, not enough hard shelter, and apart from that, they're pretty sorted. So, habitat. Beds and shelters are for the bonobo. That is that sorted. 84%. Okay. Zoo. Welfare. Still the bonobos. Their enrichment still says it's very low. But it shouldn't be. You're in a box. Why are you in a box? So I, I, keep, I think I keep accidentally boxing up animals. I cannot click on it for the life of me. You still think there isn't enough hard shelter, but you're happy with everything else. What if I put in another hard shelter for you? Do 
Just there, look. How's that? What's going on over here? How are you all thirsty? Look, there's a lake and two, two water stations. Requires the keeper. Okay, so the keeper's on their way over to there. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go into the zoo. So we've called the keeper over. Is there a way to just do that from here? That'd be quite useful. I don't think there is, though, is there? Apart from that, we're actually pretty sorted. The lemurs are the next ones in the list. So what are they missing out on? Just a bit of enrichment again, really. Interspecies bonus. We don't have that. So we need some food and some toys. So habitat enrichment. The red roughed lemur. Okay. I do like giving them the piano. I think that's cool. Oh, the ball's going straight into the water. <laughs> and they need a little bit of food enrichment as well. Where's the... Pop one of those down there. Have I just boxed one up again? I do not know what I keep doing. I don't know what the shortcut for boxing is. Where was it? Where was the boxing? Doesn't say what the shortcut is, but whatever it is, I keep pressing it. We've got to be pretty close there. 89. <laughs> That's a very close, isn't it? Uh, you! I might just get rid of you. <laughs> if I get rid of you, I think everything will be fine. a different one now though I don't understand why you are all so dehydrated keepers on route if I just hire another keeper will that make that quicker staff keeper where's the uh, where's the entrance where is the entrance how do the keepers get in? Is that the pro- Oh no, there's a keeper. How did you get- Oh, there it is, I see. Where are you going? It's just dehydrated. Do something about this. Doing a bit of cleaning. I'd rather you did something about the uh, the water. Because this dude, I imagine, is still dehydrated. But I don't know how. Still do not understand how that is possible. Are we still at 89%? We are. If I just get rid of this animal, it's not a nice way of doing it. I can't release it into the wild. I can't do anything with it. Hmm. If I box it and it falls into the water, that could be perfect. And then unbox it. Go and get some water, you stupid orangutan. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? You are just... No, come back! Oh, oh. Go to the water. 
Why are you not going? There we go. It wasn't that one. Something else sorted itself out. Okay, don't know what happened there. That seemed a little bit... Died. Literally died of dehydration. That seems to be a little bit of a bug, doesn't it? Because clearly, clearly there was more than enough water in here. And the orangutans constantly had issue with dehydration. And I called the keeper to it three, two, three times? And then it died. Which is very sad. Very sad. But there we go. We got there in the end, though, didn't we? Oh, Barney. Of course they don't like that. It really wasn't. If anything, we had too much money, Barney. It does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a horrible businessman. I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. That is true, Bernie. That is true. All right, then. So that is that level done or that mission done. Then we will leave that there. That actually took a little bit longer than I expected. I thought they would be relatively quick things. Might have to break them down into two or more videos for future ones, I think. Because, yes, I've been going for a little while now. So there's a couple of bugs. We had that crash there at the very beginning. And then we had this poor little young orangutan die. So there are a couple of bugs around still. But I think Frontier, it's safe to say, they're, they're relatively well known. Planet Coast had a few bugs when it came out. But they, they do patch them out relatively quickly. And they do seem to keep adding a lot of content as well as time goes on. So... Lots to look forward to. The game is beautiful. The animals are still beautiful. I cannot wait to do even more of uh, Planet Zoo in the near future. So hope you're looking forward to this series because it's probably going to be a long one. If you've enjoyed it, do click the like button, of course. Subscribe if you haven't already. Questions, comments, leave them down below. I am away next week, the week of the 11th, I am away. There will be videos next week. I don't know if there'll be a full set of videos, but there will be no stream, obviously, because I won't be around for the stream. That makes sense, doesn't it? So, yeah, so I'll be back on the 18th will be the next stream. Um, so, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Oh, no, in fact, no, saying that, this video will be out on Wednesday, won't it? So there'll be a video, a stream, the video, the, oh, my word. There'll be a stream the day this video is out on the 6th of November. No stream on the 11th, back to streaming on the 18th. So hopefully I'll see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Planet Zoo. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.